Look, obviously we've had a pretty big year here and the individual accolades are always something that, that are nice to cap off the end of the year. But I think, you know, I probably got nominated for this award because of the hard work my boys were doing in front of me. It means that my job as a goalkeeper is a whole lot easier, uh, particularly in the World Cup and the Commonwealth Games. And I think that made, a lot, made it a better time for me and made me make some pretty simple saves and do it quite a, make it look quite easy. So, you know, I think it's good to get these individual accolades, but, you know, the team, the team awards overshadow everything. Well, the top two are pretty, pretty easy. You know, the World Cup win, 6-1 over a home crowd. To do it so emphatically, you know, just really t tops off the hard work we'd been doing the six months previously. And, you know, the Commonwealth Games, another undefeated campaign, you know, to do it, then win the final 4-0 is, again, just another great way, to, great way to finish off a hard slog of training. And the third, I guess, now is probably this Champions Trophy. We've got a lot of young guys here. We've got get a new team. We get to see them develop uh, and, you know, get to see how they're going to go over the next, next few years. So I think it's a good, good view on how we're going to progress as a team. Uh, number one is have fun. If you're not having fun playing the game, what's the point of it? And number two, with goalkeeping, is attention to detail. You've got fractions of seconds to react. Uh, it's, the, it's the little technique things. It's the little reactions that you, you practice day in and day out. They're the things that will get you there. Get on the F FIH website. Vote for your favourite player of the year goalkeeper and rising star, but maybe keep it, keep it directed towards the Aussies.